So, everyone lost their shit over this. Welcome to the theater, by the way, pal. You're from the neighborhood Master Chaos here. I hope you're well. Come on in. I have a seat saved for you. As always, I love seeing you. You make me very happy. And I'm glad to be sharing this time with you. I really am. Uh, by the way, before we get started, give me a thumbs up. Why don't you just drop a thumbs up? Let's see how high we can get these thumbs on this video. I'm running an experiment. Help me be a part of it. Uh, of course, remember, uh, opinions are subjective. That's how opinions work. So I'm not here to tell you what's good or what's bad. Just sharing my thoughts and why I think a certain way. I preface it this way because I'm talking about the film Thriller, which, like I said, everyone lost their minds over. Holy shit, Thriller, we got to get it. Oh, my God, look at this. Oh, look at this. It's got two things in it. Oh, my God, 4K. 4K for this movie, by the way. Why the fuck waste your time on a 4K of this, honestly? Thriller, let's... Talk about it. A brief discussion on the packaging. Check this out. It's a uh, snaz. Super snaz. Look at all that stuff. That's fantastic. Of course, they don't tell you that, um, you know, all this happens fairly briefly in the movie. Uh, you get a nice hardcover case. I mean... You get it if you bought it. It's sold out already. Uh, like I said, people lost their shit over it. You get two versions of the movie here, Thriller, and they call her a one-eye. Uh, I'm not going to go with the pornographic uh, joke on this. This one is the pornographic one. This one is not, so it doesn't really work. Uh, thriller is uh, a film by Arnie Vabinius, I believe is how you pronounce his name, or Arn Vabinius. And it's a revenge movie kind of I mean it is a revenge movie but uh, the biggest issue I have uh, with the film is that it's super fucking boring <laughs> you must be kidding aren't you yep I said it I said it I think it's just a really dull movie now please don't click off don't give me a thumbs down yet wait to the end if you want to give me a thumbs down fair enough let me explain my position now my review is going to be for Thriller the longer version the Preferred version of the director. Uh, this is the pornographic version as well. So my thoughts will be based off of this version, which, you know, is the longer version and, uh, you know, uh, certainly could have been cut down. Thriller runs one hour and 48 minutes. This is a grim, ugly, and super depressing movie. Now you can say revenge movies can't be fun, but I would disagree with you. The movie begins with the not so subtle rape of a little girl, so you know you're in the hands of a pervert. Now I'm being facetious there, but uh, it's not a very auspicious start or a tasteful one. I mean, Jesus Christ, this lady is a sexual assault magnet. She gets raped by this old man and she becomes a mute because of it. She grows up to be Christina Lindbergh, a kind of a mute innocent in the world. And then, uh, seemingly her first foray into the, into, the, into the wide world, she gets picked up by a stranger, and, uh, well, then the plot unfolds. Our hero Madeline, mute due to the traumatic experience, is picked up by some random guy on the road, and he seemingly treats her nice at first. He takes her to a nice dinner, takes her back to his place, and then immediately gets her hooked on heroin so he can use her body to make some money. It turns out he's a pimp and not the nice guy he pretended to be. Now, she doesn't go along with it at first. As a matter of fact, she gets her signature eye patch because she scratches the face of her first customer. This depressing slog of a movie devolves into a series of prostitute encounters. Uh, this movie also features the most boring lesbian sequence of all time, and that's hard to pull off. There are a series of awful tragedies that also transpire, but I will not ruin them for you here. Because if you're going to take the ride with the movie, you might as well enjoy all the depressing shit firsthand. Now, this is a revenge movie, but you wouldn't know it for that first foot-draggy, slow-ass, awful hour. The last 30 minutes of the film is her traveling around the town, searching for her ex-clients and her pimp to put them six feet under. Conceptually, it's strong and exciting, and she looks badass, but you have to understand that the movie around all that stuff is so boring that it makes the ending scenes too little too late, in my opinion. Let's talk about the revenge stuff, because that's the stuff that most people remember being awesome. Uh, here's the problem with the revenge stuff. It's all in slow motion. All of it. There's one shootout that's played in real time. 
but it's just her running around shooting stuff. And it's, it's a great scene and it works and it's got energy and it's got excitement. But the rest of it, when she meets her, her ex clients and she's shooting people with, with the gun. And I mean, she's, she, you know, she looks, I mean, she looks fucking badass. She has such a great look. Absolutely. The best thing to come out of this movie is her look. Absolutely. She looks awesome. The problem is the movie around it is not good. All the revenge stuff is slow mode. All of it. All the shooting. All, all, all for the whole thing. Imagine your favorite revenge movie slowed down. Or your favorite action movie slowed down. Would it work? Here's a clip. You tell me. Imagine if every moment in that movie were slowed down. It would 100% be a snooze. Use it once. Maybe the first kill is slow mode. Yeah, okay, we get it. We, we relish it. Great. But keep going, movie. What the fuck? Overall, the biggest surprise revisiting this is how dull the movie is. It's so talky and so languorous. It just felt like, I mean, honestly, 100% honesty here, I fell asleep. Three times during this movie. I had to rewind to the part that's like, oh, what, what, what happened? Oh, wait, what's, what, what's going on? Oh, she's still in that room. Wait, I feel like I missed something. And I would have to rewind like 10 minutes and go, oh, okay, this is the last thing I remember 100%. Let me start here. You know, that rarely happens to me, especially in something that's supposed to keep my fucking attention. It's just a dull fucking movie, man. I'm sorry. It is. A lot of you haven't seen this movie. A lot of you jumped on the bandwagon because, holy shit, look at this thing. Holy shit, oh my god, I gotta get it. It's gotta be good. I And, you know, I can't speak to how people are gonna uh, appreciate it or not appreciate it or how they're gonna react to it. Of course, again, subjective here when it comes to reviews and opinions. I hope you like it. I 100% hope you like it if you spent nearly $70 on this fucking thing. I really hope you fucking like it. I didn't, but I hope you did. So people coming in blind are probably gonna be very disappointed and gonna wonder what the fuck was the big deal? What the fuck was the big deal? And again, she looks so good. She looks really goddamn good in this movie. But it's one of the, what the fuck was the big deal? Why spend so much money and time? It, did it need a 4K? Hell no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. Two stars. Two stars for Thriller. Now, again, obviously, we may or may not disagree. Leave me, leave me a comment down below if you love this movie. This movie just really means a lot to you. Tell me why. Uh, I'm curious, you know, maybe I'm just seeing it with different eyes, but I just, I, I found the movie super, super dull uh, and, and offering nothing of interest. Yeah, there's nudity. Sure, there's a lot of nudity. As a matter of fact, I didn't even address the elephant in the room, and that is the fact that there is uh, quite a bit uh, of pornographic material in the thriller cut. Now, uh, it starts about 36 minutes into the movie. And don't worry, it's only a few brief inserts, pun intended. Uh, so, so you know, it, it, just be prepared for them. If you don't want to watch that, then just watch. Uh, uh, they call her One Eye, which which it's r remarkably shorter. It is uh, ninety minutes uh, as opposed to the uh, nearly two hour cut of Thriller. So, uh, if you're for some reason you know sensitive to the pornographic stuff, yeah, just watch that version. You're not gonna miss anything, honestly. This is not Miss 45, this is not I Spit on Your Grave, uh, this is not Lady Vengeance, those are way better female-led revenge movies, watch those. Okay pal, that's it, those are my thoughts on Thriller. Like I say, I don't pull punches here and I'm very honest about what I think, and I want you to be honest, two-way conversation. If you love the movie, tell me why, I'm so curious. If you bought it uh, blind and you haven't gotten it yet, are you nervous now that you uh, that you have this thing? Honestly, if you don't like it, good for you. You can turn around and sell this for like $200 and somebody will buy it. That's the good news to come out of this. Uh, because if you don't want it, somebody else will probably take it off your hands. Uh, name your price. My friend, it's time to close the theater down. I love you very much. Uh, you're very special to me, uh, regardless of whether we agree on things or not. You're very special to me. I hope this video finds you well. I'm sending you good vibes. Take those good vibes wherever you are in the world. I'm going to grab this curtain, pull it across the silver screen. I'm going to bid you adieu. My friend, I love you. I love you very much. We'll talk soon. I hope to see you again. Subscribe if you haven't already, obviously. And leave me a thumbs up on your way out the door. Even if we don't agree, the thumbs up means we care about each other. And that's 
that's an important thing. I'll give you a thumbs up. Here's that. That's that's for you. Uh, but for now, the theater is closed.